and I could tell the story because it's kind of a cool story, but, but David Karp is a LA Times reporter. He calls himself the fruit detective. And so two years, maybe even three years, before we were going to put fruit in the store, he tracks me down and says, I understand you guys have the Decapon at the time. It wasn't called Sumo. And I said, I can neither confirm nor deny that. Oh. So let's just start with your name and where are we today? Hey, my name is Roger Smith. Uh, we're standing in the middle of a Sumo orchard owned by AC Foods. Um, so let me get my high-tech measuring tool. Fourth generation citrus guy, I've been around it my whole life, grew up on a citrus farm. Um, my great grandfather planted the trees for the family in 1912. You know, some people say that if you cut my wrist, I'd bleed orange juice, you know, so it's, uh, I'm passionate about citrus. But he, dad was always into these, he, he grew a lot of navel oranges, but he was the developer of the pumelo. He had about 35 and acres. And so when my wife and I moved onto a 10 acre property, we were looking for what to plant. And when you're a citrus nurseryman and know every variety that's commercially viable, it's a little hard to choose, but this whole sumo program was coming to life then. We didn't know much about the variety, we just knew it was popular in Japan and took a risk on it. Uh, I am the senior category director for sales for sumo citrus, so I kind of saw the inception, I guess you could say, of sumo citrus and the practices, how far it took to actually learn how to grow it. The University of California had trees of this and didn't really know what to do with them, so they put them out in an experimental block, so we actually knew before we even made it a commercial venture, what the fruit looked like. When it first started, people were skeptical as to where it was going to go, just because no one's ever experienced it. And when you first look at it, it's not like a regular citrus or regular mandarin, right? In 2011, when it came out, it was going up against really smooth, bright orange fruit. The idea of being pebbly with this little weird thing on the top of it and all that kind of thing. But it was great because it differentiated so, itself. Yeah, so I feel different. It's it's what I call backseat friendly. You give it to your kid and sit in the back seat with no towel or anything. And most fruit, you're just trying to get at the taste of it. Well, there's an experience of easy peel. The smell that comes from it when you peel a sumo is so different than other citrus. Uh, but what the people that had plowed the road for us actually though was the Japanese. They had had their decapon for a long time. So when the Japanese are excited about something, we know that there's a consumer preference out there that's going to equate to the United States market. And uh, it turned out to be something that was far beyond our wildest dreams at the yeah, time right. as far as the quality so of it. it. it it not only has a tremendous flavor, but it is such a user-friendly uh, citrus to eat. When you pop it in your mouth, you get this burst of flavor that is, there's a kind of almost a crunch to it that isn't that common with other citrus. Very sweet, um, not a lot of acid, but there's a balance. You want a little acid, you need some acid to make that sweet come out. And so I was intrigued and I wanted to know more about it, so I, contacted the proprietor at that time that had the Sumo variety and asked him if I could be part of the program. We put him, put him in the ground, that was in 2014. And the difficulty is, is that this orchard here, it still has six or seven weeks of rainy weather to get through and it may not all get delivered to the packing house. So it's like the only time you breathe a sigh of relief with this variety is after you see the trucks leaving the field. It requires probably three times the amount of attention and care that our other citrus varieties do. And that's why you've got to partner with the right marketer, and that's AC Foods, Fresh Direct, and you know, you've got to put together the right farming team. Oh yes, it is. It's extremely pampered. So we have to pamper it when we pick it, and we pamper it when we pack it, and we also pamper it when we put it on a truck. So we actually put airbags in there to make sure that nothing shifts at all so that it is not uh, shaking. So yes, it is extremely pampered. <laughs> yeah, no, I think a, a sumo delivered by Fresh Direct would likely be the highest quality sumo a person could get because it, it, the cold chain hasn't been broken. It's just the unique experience of having the best citrus probably you've ever had. Um, I actually think of all the hard work that goes into growing it every year and waiting for it to actually arrive and it's like it's finally here. So I would say that it's something to be very proud of. Yeah, I think, I, th I think that everybody who actually is a piece of this takes pride in it.